Yo, what's up? It's Pika Kid and Nate here, and today I'm going to be talking about a message to ungoogled Chromium users. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, a while, quite a while ago, I talked about a browser called ungoogled Chromium. Ungoogled Chromium is the Chromium code base, but without Google spyware. They also have a few things where they attempt to redirect you away from Google's website. Like for example in the settings, there's like a few buttons that take you to a Google support site. It takes you to a garbage domain that just doesn't exist and could never possibly exist. Mm. Now the thing is, in that particular video, I think I also recommended Cur launch, Cur launcher. Sure, you do not get auto updates in the extensions, but there are ways around both. For example, using Cur launcher, whatever the fuck, however the fuck you pronounce that, it's a launcher for ungoogled Chromium, but it also works for any Chromium based thing, and it allows you to auto update, mm. which I also had in the description, which has since been removed, and I'll explain why. So the thing is, I recently just discovered that Cur launcher actually downloads a version from this website rather than the actual website which is this. Now I'm not saying this website is in any way malicious, it might just be completely legitimate, all the builds might be legitimate. I'm just saying that it's not the actual build that you should be downloading. Now if you can figure out how to make Cur Launcher, Cur Launcher, whatever the, what, whatever the fuck you have, have uh, however the fuck you want to pronounce it, if you can make it download the actual versions then good for you. But the thing is I would recommend just downloading them straight from the website. Obviously you won't get the auto update, which is a huge crying shame. It's a massive shame that you won't get the auto update. But Six. you'll be getting the actual official builds straight from the website. So basically the message is stop using Curl Launcher. So for a while, while I was using this particular version from this website, everything seemed fine. It seemed fine, everything seemed to be running as well as Google Chrome would do, I don't know. But then I started realizing issues with the pop-out. Now you might be wondering what I mean by the pop-out. If you're watching this right now on ungoogled Chromium or any Chromium browser, I don't know if it's all of them. Let's just say the official Chromium. You may see a little thing on the top of your bar, next to all your extensions, next to the three dots, and it looks like three lines with a little music note. If you click that, it'll show a little menu, and then there'll also be a little button that you can click, and it pops out the window, so you, it's not playing directly from the browser window, it's its own little window. Basically, for the longest time, that was completely broken. And I just thought, oh, maybe it was just broken in like Chromium in general and it was then completely removed. Then it started getting annoying when the version that I was using, which was from Curl Launcher, started doing this annoying thing where it would randomly disable WebGL on all websites and also JavaScript JIT, whatever that means, editing me. And I had to manually enable it. And even then I still kept getting issues for example, when I try to launch like uh, Ruffle games, like when I try to run Flash games with Ruffle, it would tell me that I have like an invalid WASM, which is WebAssembly. But it kept telling me that I didn't have a like a valid WASM file or something. No matter what I did in some cases, it would just be broken the entire time. Then obviously I submitted both Ruffle and Google Chromium a GitHub issue, then I realised it was my own fault, but then something interesting happened a few days ago, or rather it happened just now, but they sent me the message four days ago because I barely checked my GitHub, oops. Basically what's happening is, is that the builds that were from Curl Launcher weren't their builds. But yeah, so a little message to on Google Chromium users, do not use Curl Launcher if you specifically want to update on Google Chromium. The best version of on Google Chromium is directly from this website. So if you want to automatically update it, then you're pretty much shit out of luck. Unless you can figure out how to actually make Curl Launcher download from here. And if you can, please tell me. So anyway, I've been your host, Peaky Kid it's been Peaky Kid chat, and you've all been fantastic. So until the next video, I say bye bye.